Hi. Hi, Jasmine. Hi, teacher. Hi, how are you? Sorry? How are you? Oh, I'm a little tired. <laughs> you? Really? How was your day? I'm, I'm pretty good. It was kind of long. <laughs> really? Yeah, kind of long. And it was raining all the afternoon, so it was kind of depressing. Oh, I see. Yeah, right? Mm-hmm. So. Just finishing eating my dinner. So, sorry about that. So, don't <laughs> worry. Yes, just go ahead. Let's wait for your classmates. Okay, thank you. Okay, you're welcome. I'll be right back. Okay, there we go. Hi, Freddy. Hi, teacher. Just let me pause the video. Okay, okay. Okay, Andres. Erwin. Yeah, I'm ready. Fernando is in the class. Genesis. Andres. Erwin. Hi, Green. Jasmine again. Why do you have two Jasmine in the class? <laughs> What's the other one? <laughs> oh, Diego. Diego is with my name. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, Diego, change your name. <laughs> okay. Hi. Okay. Uh, that's why you're at where you're with my name. Okay, cool. It's okay. <laughs> No, nah, nah. let me help you. <laughs> have a beautiful name, not this. Yeah, right. Let's take a look at your name. <laughs> That's weird. Yeah, right. How do I change the name? <laughs> let me help you. <laughs> you tell me, you. Jasmine, but she was the first one. Okay, I don't know. Let me help you. Don't worry. Don't you worry. Are you too familiar? I don't know. <laughs> I tell you, you were familiar because <laughs> the name. I tell you, use the That's same. The That's the reason why I never put the, the camera because we're twins. 
Ah, yes, we're okay. exactly we share That's exactly why. the same face. <laughs> Vamos a ver. Tango a Diego. Buscamos a Dieguito. Where is the attendance list? Diego Alejandro, aquí estamos. Thank you. Ok. Ahí estamos ya. Muy bien. Let me see. David, William. They are in the class already. Madeline. Hello. Hello, David. Hi, how are you? You know, class, I have been a little bit sick. Eh, ando como un poquito de gripe. La garganta sí me pica un poquito, así que I'm going to try, you know, to <clears throat> ask for volunteers so you can help me out reading because in today's class we have a reading. So please, if I ask you to participate, just help me. Right, vamos a ver. No sé qué habrá pasado, será la lluvia, el cambio de clima. No hay no. It's the same, same as me. Probably, right? Mm -hmm. And I just drank uh, like two hours ago, mm -hmm. two taxin and one uh, predin. So right now I was falling asleep. So I started watching a YouTube <laughs> video in order to wake up. Uh -huh. Okay. Now in my case, yeah, I'm going to try to do the same. <clears throat> Vamos a ver. I can see Lourdes. Hi, Lourdes. Doris, she's in the class. Hi. 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 Hello, hello. Welcome. Thank you. Let me check the attendance list. Vamos a ver. Okay. Andres Giovanni Valdivia Soporti. Present. David Samuel Galdames Monterrosa. Present teacher. Diego Alejandro Caballero López. He's there. Dora Elizabeth Flores Méndez. Present. Erwin Lagos Andrade. Present, teacher. Present. Okay, okay. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Moral. Present. Francisco Amadeo Villacorta Chávez. Fredis Vladimir Cortez López. I'm here, I'm almost awake. Ok, Genesis del Carmen Hernández Venezuela. Present. Harvin Isaac Guevara Miranda. Jasmine Marisol Escobar Flores. Present. Ok. Kenia Esmeralda Galvez Ruiz. Lourdes Montserrat Hernández Velázquez. Present. Madeline Yamilet Molina González. Present. Thelma Clotilde Peña Martínez. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Jessica Yanari Cortés Díaz. And Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. In Okay, there we go. So let me ask you, let's do a quick review about yesterday or the last activity that we had yesterday. What were we discussing about or what was the activity that we were having at the end of the class? <clears throat> Who can tell me? We were discussing about four definitions, vocabulary, that we are going to be using in this class. So in case that you don't remember, let me show you what we have here. Okay, Lourdes, go ahead, please. Read the first one. 
Ethics is moral principles that govern a person's behavior or the conducting of an activity. Okay. And what is a good practice, William? I guess it's not there. Ah, uh, yes, there he is. Uh, what is a mm -hmm. good, good practice? Wise thing to do. There we go. Uh, Fernando, continue please. From doing. <clears throat> uh, illegal or dishonest behavior. Behavior, there we go. Jocelyn, how about the last one? Mm, right, right. Yes. Persuade right. someone to act in one's favor. Typically, illegally or dishonestly, by a gift of mother or other in endorsement. Endorsement. Gift of money endorsement. or other endorsement. There we go. So, as you may see, we have these definitions. And the topic that we were discussing yesterday, it was about this, right? And I guess the new vocabulary that we have here is bribe, the last one. So, as you may see, you can find these definitions in the platform. We have an, a specific exercise and you're going to find these specific uh, examples, these specific definitions, right? So let me show you if we go to the platform. As the first activity before we continue with the class, I really need you to go. Go and check section number two. Two point five. Let me show you. Ah, and Doris, Doris, she was telling me about this issue. As you can notice in the midterm exam, part number one, we were missing this one. Number four was missing. So, as you may see, you can go and check it. It's already there. Okay, we were missing this one because number three and number four, they were in the same item, right? So, aquí está corregido, chicos. So, you can go and check this part. Section number two, 2.5. Let's start with this activity today so we can work in these um, exercises that we need to complete in every section. This is the one, look, if you go to the second part, if you scroll down, there you're going to find the same definitions and different options. So let me show you again, so you can have the different definitions. There we go. Ethics, good practice, wrongdoing and bribe. There we have it. So please take some minutes, go to the platform and complete this exercise so we can have this done, okay? This is what you're going to do right now. In this moment, go to the platform and select the correct option for what is being described by different definition, right? I guess we are just missing number two an owner of shares in a company. So, which is the one that we are missing? Mm -hmm. No, number two, meaning who is a norm or how do we call um, the owner of shares in a company? In a company, what is it? It's not good practice, ethics, right, wrongdoing, no, so. The only one that we have here that we didn't include in yesterday's class is this one, shareholder. So in number two, you're going to have this one as the correct option, shareholder. Okay, number one, moral principles. Ethics. Remember, ethics, wise thing to do. It's a good practice. This one, that is the opposite as the previous definition. It's not good, it's wrong. 
and to persuade someone. Remember it is? Brave. Right, so there you have this one. So in case you didn't have these definitions, there you have them. And this one, I guess we already had this activity before, right? Do you still remember about this topic? A positive. We were discussing the same, same examples. You can find this information in your student's book. Okay, so you can have Tarea 2.5. Done. I just So this is the one that we are going to have. Great. So let me see. Vamos otra vez. Let's go. Take a look at the definition. And as I mentioned before, we are going to have a reading. A reading about this topic. Take a look at the topic. The title that we have there. Doris. What is the topic? The title for this reading. reading. <clears throat> the, the American Business Practice. Mm -hmm. Once again. The ugly truth about American business practice. Oh, the ugly, the ugly truth about unethical business practices. This is a reading that we are going to have. You know, I was reading this information and it is very similar to what we have been discussing in this previous class, right? In this reading, we are going to find some examples about 10 different unethical and very common business practices and a specific examples, you know? It's quite interesting. Uh, it can be a little bit long you know the reading but it's going to be very helpful right so we are going to have this reading right now and after that we are going to have a specific activity with the information from the reading test let me show you what we have <clears throat> okay here we go i'm going to send I can send you this link so you can have this information. If you want to read again, the same information, you're going to be able to do this. Here we go. So look at this. We have some information, different paragraphs. So I'm gonna be asking you to read a paragraph each, right? Let me have, okay, wait, 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 wait. Why do I have Jasmine again? <laughs> Otra vez, Jasmine? ¿Qué pasará, Jasmine? ¿Qué pasa ahora? <laughs> Who's that? That is Harmin, right? ¿Y otra vez, Jasmine? Ah, ya, yeah. es que está, estaban preguntando por el link y yo mandé el link. Porque oh, aparentemente... that's why. Por eso creo que por eso están apareciendo. <laughs> Bien. Eh, Piense, lo... ajá, ya está. ¿Qué pasa que donde está la foto de, de Jarvin? Aparece el nombre de Yasmín. De Yasmín y alguien más entró con Yasmín otra vez. Por el link que ella compartió, entonces Ajá. el le va a contar a Yasmín. Exactly. Ese es el problema, you know. I don't know final, why it, it showed that name. El final va, va a ser como que Yasmín estuvo con okay, tres diferentes yes, dispositivos. No, I can help you, don't worry, but let me see. No sé si todos tienen el mismo enlace. O alguien oh. puede comprar. If not, I can. I can do it in this moment. Yeah, say yo porque ya swing otra vez, but don't worry. Just Good evening. Hi. I have the same. <laughs> yes, oh, right? Okay. Vamos a ver. Hello, I'm, I'm Jasmine Marisol Escobar. Ajá, yo dije, ¿todos están en la misma casa en la clase? ¿Qué será? Do you, do you get together, guys? I don't think so, right? Vamos a ver. Si no pueden cambiar el nombre, just let me know. I can help you. So that is the issue. Just give me one moment.
Okay. Okay. Ok, ahí estamos. Ya Armin ya cambió su nombre. Muy bien. Aquí está. So, the first one. A él iba a pedir que me ayudara a leer. So, Harvin, please. Can you start with this reading? Ok. First part. Even, ok. Even if you have the best idea and the most commitment employees, maintaining a successful business is going to be challenging every day. Is it not uncommon for companies, large and small alike, to feel this pressure and wonder if there isn't an easier way? So many decide to work under, mm -hmm. where are, where are, I don't know who said that word. Yes, where are. Where are other store to ethical business practices? Okay, look at this. It is very common, you know, or is not uncommon for companies. It doesn't matter. Large and small companies to feel this pressure, right? So you have two options, two choices, right? To work harder or to... What is the other one? The other chance that we have or what we can do the easiest way. to turn to unethical business practices. That's it, as simple as that. Lower this, go ahead and continue. What is the definition? What is the definition of unethical business practices? Uh -huh. Before we look at some unethical business practice examples, it is important to know what we are talking about. The unethical business practices definition and Past. Anything that falls below minimum standards for businesses code of conduct. This includes any behaviors that are widely accepted as being morally wrong and lead to the mistreatment of people, animals, or the environment. Okay, so as you may see, whenever we talk about unethical business practices, we are not only talking about People, what are the other examples that we have or the other um, mistreatment categories that we have there? Mm -hmm. Animals or the environment? Look, people, animals or the environment. There we go. So as we were mentioning yesterday, uh, I guess it was David and Jasmine's, Jasmine's group they were presenting this example about an environmental one, the damage that we were, uh, or these people from this company, they were doing, right? I do not remember about the name of this company. Creo que era Baterías Record in the record, other one. Okay. In the other one? Baterías Record. Uh, the other Ring. one was... Aha. Ah, San Jacques was the other one in Pacific. No, 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 but Pacific Ring. Ring, there we go. So you see, yes. environment. Can you think about um, a business or a company who's doing this type of unethical business practices with animals? In, in mm -hmm. cosmetic, industrial cosmetic. Oh yeah, probably, right? Okay. Sí, es full teacher. Ajá. ¿Qué más? Okay. Yes, tell me. Chinese food. Chinese food. Ok. Bueno, las ratitas, dicen, los perritos. No, no. Yes. Yes, tell me, who was the other one? Me. Ok, tell I me, have, I'm listening. I don't know if it's true. Yeah. I have heard that um, long ago um, they, they stopped extracting um, gold from in Salvador because of the the river that was close to the place that they were extracting the gold uh -huh. got infected with the chemicals that they were using. Uh -huh. So a, a lot of um, animals and, and other things got infected too. So that's why they stopped doing that. 
No, yeah, imagine. So yes, not only animals, but also the environment. Well, as you, as you may see, it's not uh, just about the mistreatment of people, but this is the most common, I guess, but also animals or the environment. There we go. So let's have this example. 10 common unethical business practices. Fernando, go ahead, please. Read this okay. information. Uh, 10 common unethical business practices. Businesses have found countless ways to act unethically, but most of these actions fall into four main categories. Unethical practices toward customers, unethical practices toward employees, unfair competition, and legal but unethical practices. There we go. Genesis, continue. Yeah. Unethical business practices towards customers. Businesses use unethical practices that target customers. They hope consumers will fail to notice they're being tricked. They rely on the fact that they'll be able to make numerous sales without the word spreading that they are being deceptive. Okay, thank you. There we go. As you may see, we have a many ways or many examples about unethical a practices, right? But the most common ones, they fall into these categories. Which are they? Look, the first one. Unethical practice. Mm -hmm. Work customers. Right. What else? Unethical practice to work employees. Mm -hmm. On for competition and the last one legal but unethical practice okay legal but unethical practices let's see let's find out about this one so in your opinion which one is the most common from these four the four examples that we have here toward customers employees unfair competition or the last one legal but unethical practices I think it's legal and also towards employees. Okay, I guess, yeah, this one, right? Employees or customers, probably they are the same. <laughs> okay, dear. Bien, vamos a ver the first one. First example. Let me see, let me have Telma. Telma, go ahead, please. Let's okay. Have okay. False product claims. There's a huge difference between using marketing to paint a product or service in the best possible light and outside flying with traditional advertising. It's easier to monitor if companies are using misleading language to target customers. With digital advertising, anyone can run and add and face animal oversight. There we go, face minimal oversight. So as you may see, false product claims. What is this about in simple words? What did you get from this information? It's when you offer more than what it actually is. Right. For instance, what type of businesses or companies they tend to do this? Uh, las de venta en línea, las que te traen cosas de, de fuera, por ejemplo. Okay. Online stores, what else? Algo que nos haya pasado a nosotros. What type of business? Think about it. Mm -hmm. I see the, the company that provides internet service, they, oh. they sell you an uh, amount of uh, bytes or megabytes you can download or you can upload. But uh, with the pass of the time, 
they reduce. Mm -hmm. They reduce that, that quantity. Maybe if you get uh, uh, 30 megabytes mm -hmm. and if you uh, see after uh, three or six months, you only have 20 or 15 megabytes. And that is a common practice, not only here in it's the It's a very but common. In, a, very... in another country, yes. Mm -hmm. There we go. Have about whenever you want to go and get uh, food at these restaurants, right? Fast food restaurants. What is your opinion about this? Do they use this type of false product? When you, when, when you see the, the burger in there, it's uh -huh. very big. <laughs> <laughs> And when you go and buy it, it's, it's a little small. And so small. Pero ¿qué, qué hacen ellos en los advertisements? Han visto ustedes que ponen un pequeño yes. asterisquito. O que dice, hay una like. Eh, the, the product may differ with the original. <laughs> the, the picture may uh -huh. differ with the original product. Pero dice, es para fines ilustrativos, right? Yes, yes. So... En ese caso, ¿qué expresan ellos? It is up to you, right? If you believe on what we are advertising. Let's continue. Go ahead. Who is still missing? Quiero ver. Francisco. Continue with this information. Hi, good evening. Hello. To back off the client they they oh, sorry. Mm -hmm. Give me a moment. Okay, don't worry. Okay. This is this is the case of the <laughs> of the two, two space. Two space. <laughs> okay. Close in the bakery. Oh. oh yeah. <laughs> Bien. Let's wait for Francisco. So probably he's gonna be able to participate later on. Janari, can you help us reading this information? Okay. Uh, to back to back up the claims they make in their ads, companies may oh. use make reviews or ask influencers to endorse their products. The good news is that many platforms are cracking down on fake reviews, requiring posts from influencers to specify that their their promotional and monitoring ads more closely. Exactly, they are monitoring ads more closely. This is so common, you know, to have companies that they may use fake reviews. Of course, these influencers, they get paid. So they are going to be promoting this, that, or I don't know. Saying just, you know, I'm sorry. No, no, no go ahead. Yeah. Tell me. I was just watching a video today about <laughs> a festival. I don't know. I, I had never heard of it, mm -hmm. but apparently it was a big, a big deal a few years ago that it was called Fire Festival and it was a super uh, high stuff uh, event that uh, was endorsed by many influencers, uh, famous influencers. The thing is that that it, it, it seemed to be, or it was advertised to be a, a huge thing that it was gonna be on a private island. Mm -hmm. People paid to more than $250,000 for VIP tickets. And they were promised that they were gonna be fl uh, flown, flew? They were gonna uh, go on a private jet to the island. And the thing is that it was nothing, nothing at all. 
like what they advertise because they spent so much money on the advertisement that that they didn't really uh uh spend enough money on the actual thing and it was a super disaster that the producer or the yeah the producer mm -hmm. yeah. ended up in jail for that and it was advertised by kylie jenner and these famous models mm -hmm. but it was um they were many people sue that that guy because uh, they it was horrible and i was just watching that and, and i just remember it then imagine and for example as you were mentioning these these uh influencers right kylie jenner how much do they ask to advertise you know you know it can be like um a very short video promotional but imagine if they are no famous, they actually right? yeah they actually said that that she just had to post one photo and they paid her like just a hundred thousand dollars for that <laughs> photo wow so is it or isn't it isn't it common right whenever you want to get a product or you want to go and visit a place what do we usually do first nowadays do you go and ask your family do you go and ask your friends or co-workers or do you go and check social media so you can find reviews what do we usually do Ask a friend. Ask a friend. I Google it. <laughs> I Google it. Exactly. <laughs> there you go. What else? What else do you do? I search it. I look for the web, uh, the Facebook page, and ah, see okay. how many likes it has. <laughs> right. This exactly. is reliable. The reviews. The reviews. Exactly. The reviews. What else? Do you go and look for a tutorial? Yeah? Or no, solo yo hago eso, in Genesis. In your case, Yanari, Lourdes, William, what do you do? Whenever you want to visit a new restaurant to go uh, and get some products, what do you usually do? I check the the social media of the restaurant. Okay. Uh, read some comments, <laughs> and I usually only go to to some place that someone has uh, told me that is great. Okay, so by recommendation, there we go. And what is it, or what do we do if we don't really like that place? If we are not happy with that product or what we got at the end, or what do we usually see that people do do a bad opinion exactly right we don't hesitate to go and give a bad comment a bad opinion about that play right so people can know right this is so common so that's why as you may see it says that many companies they may use fake reviews because, of course, I guess this is a very easy way to attract people's attention, right? Let's see. False product claims. Let's have the second one. Quien me ayuda con el número dos, David, go please. Hiding terms and inducer agreement. Okay. Every time, every time you sign up for a new service, or download software, including free software, you need to click the agree button on the user women. Almost no one reads this page long user agreements, which can enable businesses to sleep in some undesirable requirements. For instance, you may be allowing a company to sell your data to a third party, Facebook. Or you could be giving a social media platform the rise to your content. Whereas, whereas companies can put anything they want into the term of service, requirements that are not actually legal are unenforceable and can even result in lawsuits. 
So whose fault is this one? Whenever you go and click the agree verb. So Empecemos fun. por ahí. Whose fault is it? When we don't uh, hey. some uh, app, <laughs> any app. Uh -huh. Do you really take the time to read the terms in user so. agreements or not? <laughs> no. <laughs> no? Okay. So it's starting from there. But what is the unethical practice in this case? In the first time, is there are uh, uh, intentionally do it so longer uh -huh. that you can uh, do you you don't want to read it because you need a lot of time to read that agreement. Okay. And, and I think uh, they can put a a, a short version. <laughs> okay. And. Uh, it was, it was easy to read it. So look, it says almost no one, no one reads these pages, loan user agreements, which can enable businesses to sleep in some undesirable requirements. So in this case, ¿cuál es el unethical practice? Acá. The companies, they? They include things that uh -huh. that probably we're not aware of because we're not aware of because we don't read those things so they take advantage of or that. they exactly or they can be selling you know something happened to me that i hated and i didn't realize for one year mm -hmm. that i i had a, a loan that um i i read all the paperwork but i was misled to believe that I was getting a, an insurance but I thought it was like um, a mandatory thing for that specific loan that I got and apparently it wasn't and I was and I was told that I had to just pay once because um, and they were going to discount it and I realized this year that they were charging me again and I got really mad because I didn't understand why and I realized that it was not necessary I could have said no to that but I was misled to believe that it, I had to include it with my loan and I get so mad so mad because I hate that that the banks always try to to make you uh buy um uh, yeah to make you buy get, an insurance. Get, get an insurance buy or get an insurance and and I hate that they do that because they try to sell it to you however possible they can and it's not the first time that it happens to me and I hate that I hate that no it always happens whenever you go to the bank they are always uh, trying to convince you right to get those type of products and if you say no yeah. but they say no but you know think about it or I can give you a call you know so you can change your mind yeah. and you know the worst part is that if you want to cancel it they make it as hard as possible for you to not cancel it. And I, because I had another one a few years ago that I tried to, to cancel it. And they said that I had to go to the, to the bank, to the bank. And I had to call from one of those phones. And I was like, why can't I just call from my phone? No, because you have to go to those specific phones and call from there. And I went there because I was determined to do it. And I went there and they made me wait 20 minutes and they never picked up and I had to leave and I couldn't do that at the time. And they just make it as hard as possible so you don't cancel. Yeah, this is what happens, you know, it's very common. So as you may see, we have those two examples. So as of right now, what are we going to do? As I mentioned before, we have 10 different examples, right? I am going to send you so you can work with your classmates, read the information about a specific uh, topic, you know, and then we are coming back so you can present the information with some examples, that's the, the, the ones that we are discussing in this month, right? 
And I'm so sorry, créanme, es, me está eh, fallando bastante la voz y creo que voy a empezar a toser. <coughs> you need a hot tea, teacher. I do, I do. So just give me a second. Ok, I'm back. As I was mentioning before, vámonos a los grupos, chicos. And let me show you. I have group number one, two, three, four, and five. Group number one is going to have this one. Unethical accounting and full working conditions, right? Then group number two is going to have this one, sexual harassment and unfair competition. Group number three, you're going to have this one, number six and seven. You're going to be reading this information and getting some extra examples. Group number four, you're going to have bribery and this one, legal but unethical business practices. And group number five, you're going to have this one, selling customer and complex activities. Is it clear? Hasta aquí vamos a llegar, hasta el número 10, okay? Go ahead, read the information and then Try to explain by giving examples and asking your classmates about this information, right? Let me send you the link. Vamos a ver. Go and check the chat. Here we have the information. Vamos chicos, it's time to work. No olviden compartir su pantalla. Go please. Three and five, teacher. Okay, three and five. Three and five. You know what? I'm going to send you to room number four because I only have William and Jocelyn there. Wait. Okay, go please. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Welcome. Okay, I'm still missing Freddy's, Diego, and Andres. But I guess I'm, uh, Diego is driving, right? So how about you, Freddy's and Andres?
Did you get the invitation to join? Yes, I joined, but you're trying. I don't know what happened. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because Freddy's he is the only one in that room. Hi, Madeline. Hi, Miss. I Hi. was alone in the in that group. Yeah, right. So you can go back because Freddy's he is already there. He was trying to get in, but he was not able to. Ah, okay. Uh, but I can't. Really? <laughs> I don't okay. Know how. Okay, you don't know how. Remember, it's room number three, but in this moment, I'm going to send you to room number four, and then I am going to bring you back to room number three, okay? Okay. Okay, just give me a sec. Okay, there you go. <laughs> What happened, Freddy? I was alone. You know, yeah, Madeline, she came to the main room because she said, you know, I was the only one there. So now she went back to the room. So let me send you back to room number three. She's waiting for you. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I was ahead. But give me a moment. I'm going to send you to room number four and then I am going to bring you back to room number three, okay? Vamos a ver. Here we go. Now you can go. Uh, I don't. I don't know what happened, but I don't receive the the invitation. Okay, let me. <laughs> okay, just give me. Freddy is back. ¿Qué pasa, Freddy? Andrés. You are supposed to be in room number two. Vamos a hacer lo mismo, Andrés. Give me a second. Váyase a la dos, ahí están. Okay. <laughs> okay, you're welcome. <laughs> so, <laughs> as you see, Freddy and Madeline. Hi, guys. ¿Qué hacen aquí los dos? <laughs> no. <laughs> I was waiting for yeah. someone in the other. And you know what, Madeline? Freddy came back because he said, you know, I was the only one there. You know. Yeah. <laughs> Vaya, hoy sí, hoy sí. Tranquilos, los voy a enviar a la sala 4 y luego a los dos de regreso a la sala 3, ¿ok? Okay. Váyanse a la 4, luego les envío la invitación para la 3. Don't worry. Aquí vamos. <clears throat> Dice, okay. okay, go ahead, Madeline. And Freddy. Hi, Freddy. <laughs> I've been traveling all around the rooms. <laughs> okay, vamos a hacer algo. You know what? Don't worry. Vamos a enviar a Madeline a otra sala. <laughs> <laughs> ya no sé qué hacer, chicos. Madeline está solita y otra vez. Okay, let's try the last time. Don't worry. Otra vez room number four and let me send you back to room number three. Here we go. Okay, guys, here we are. <laughs> <laughs> Group number three. So do you still remember the ones that you were going to read and discuss? No. Okay, so let me help you with that information. <clears throat> the only thing that I remember that you said um, one, two, number 10, uh -huh. I think. Okay, number one and two, we already read that information. 
So this is the information. Let me show you. In number three, as you may see, we have two examples on ethical accounting and this one, on an ethical code. business practices towards employees. I know it's a very short information, but I really need you to present this information. You can have this one in a slide, and then you can have some examples to um, illustrate about this information, right? This is what we are going to do in this month. So go ahead. Okay. Great. So only number three, right? Yes, that's it. Yeah, and I that is I think that is the worst part is that the wage is super low for all of that they do, but they don't have other another choice. Yeah, like, sometimes that's that's the only job you have, and like it's hard for you to get another one. It'd be hard to leave that job. So, in poor conditions, I. Thankfully enough, I never had uh, had to work in poor working conditions, but I've had friends or family members that have, and it's a very depressing sight. So I don't, I don't know about your experiences, guys. Well, actually, I I I wouldn't say that I I have had that experience either because, but I have, I have seen it. Are, they have some problem because uh, they, they demand to the company that they need to, to have other um, conditions of labor, different conditions laborales. Okay, the, mm -hmm. oh, but is the the, the, the the company que they no agree that with with this team because the the demand of the of the, of the other employees they say that they need ¿Dónde está guardado? Uh, okay. Next. Uh, I don't know. Who was the owner of the I don't remember who was the owner, but. Uh, but, uh, but the, the owner, owner disappeared. Was... I guess that but... was uh, a ghost driving. <laughs> the, the owner was, was her. I, 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 I hear something that. Okay. Suppose he was a president, but who knows? <laughs> no, he was the driver. He was the driver, sorry. He was the driver yeah. and the girl was that go with him. It was uh, hard. I don't know if uh, something bad, I, I don't know. Okay, legal but unethical business practice. Jocelyn, read, please. Okay, legal but unethical business practices. There are some unethical business practices that are legal but morally questionable. There is nothing to stop business for partaking in these activities, especially if they see that their product and service are desirable and also the customer will continue to purchase them anyway. Mm, When when Europe put off the market uh, the these um, medicaments, uh, uh, there was a med uh, a medicine that 
you don't put off the market and they sell off of that medicine in, in, in Central America, in Latin America. It's a tool fast and all of that kind of, of, of medicine. Uh, that was illegal to sell it, but uh, because it was uh, put off the market of the Europe, of Europe, but uh, not in Latin America. Uh, oh, I don't remember the name, the specific name. Oh, but any of the sulfur, okay, I think another one then. Or we can use a mm, some medicaments. But don't need to look at say. This is some of the e, 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 e. that is legal, but it's not ethical. What about Coca Cola? <laughs> yes. Uh, what another practice? That are legal but unethical. Mm -hmm. The uh, mm -hmm. selling smokes is is the cigarette. It will be, yes. be ethical mm. or unethical? What do you think? Say no, it's cigarette. legal, but uh, supposedly uh, it's unethical when we are the, uh, talking about the health. But yeah. uh, remember, Dr. Smon, they uh, smoke, sorry. Cigarette had his advertising talking about that it's bad for the health, that they can produce a difficult illness like cancer, even in his car, in his box, sorry, they had that information. So everybody knows about it. Por el, y con así como el salario puede ser también, no pagar el salario mínimo. But that is not legal. Sí, va. Uh -huh. It's not legal, it's, it's illegal. Uh, well, I, I think selling cigarettes is, is not is uh, something like uh, selling uh, uh, expression we can have here special name. Okay, another one. At least three. What about something that is legal for a uh, private uh, companies? They uh, they notify to the employee that they they must work on a holiday. 
What was the... This is something the, that is legal, but it's no unethical. Uh -huh. Or, or uh, if the... What is the... the el código de trabajo is... Labor. Code. Uh, Labor. Mm -hmm. Le, uh -huh. But the, that... that uh, El código establece what days are holidays. Uh -huh. And if you don't give that uh, holiday to the people, it's uh, illegal because it's... it's They're it's, breaking the uh, law. Mm -hmm. It's mandatory. It's mandatory to the people, to the owner or the, to em em employee, Employer, employee, mm -hmm. I don't know what is the one. Employer. Em, employer is, is the owner. Employee is. Is the one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And uh, the owner has the, the, the legal uh, obligation to give the vacation to the, the employee. And mm -hmm. the employee has the legal obligation to take vacations. If it's if done, uh, if not, it's illegal. Legal, but unethical. I don't think in another one. Mm. Some, there are some drugstores. But this is maybe not the drug stores, you know. Well, no, but drug store selling expensive medicine. Here is an example, they Yes, guys, tell me. Okay, I have a question. Yeah, we are ahead. not sure about the topic that we have to, to discuss. Uh, we are, we were work, talking about trade secret misappropriation because we are the the last one so we that that isn't is the number 10. okay as you are the last one group number five which one you were discussing about uh the topic it's the seven trade secret misappropriation because i i remember that you you start you started with three three was exactly. the one group. three was the one let me see Number one and number two, it's already over because we're at the information. This is number one up to here. So number four and number five is group number, no, number four, there we are, un grupo. Number five, four and five, six and seven, group number three. This is group number four. And yes, guys, now aquí les toca a ustedes, nine number and nine and ten. Okay. But don't worry, if you already okay. have uh, comments and examples about this one, of course, remember you can participate and give your opinion so we can have uh, more examples. So probably your classmates, they do not have the same information or examples as you. So go ahead. These are the ones that you're going to discuss, number nine and number ten. Go. Thank you. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Uh, yes. uh, so, about companies being in their terms of Especially, that company is going to oh. I'm sure the company said it there. Yes. Good job. So, actually, I'm be, I've been coming back at home like around 11.40. So I get used to it. If I sleep at that hour, I can get up early the other day. 
<laughs> just that trust me it's not that easy because you get um i don't know sometimes in the day you feel like more tired than usually sometimes mm -hmm. especially when you're sick like today yeah. today i had a i had an allergy um sometimes um i don't know where this allergy comes up to me so it came up an allergy and then um Actually, it was a strong allergy, so I drank the uh, three pills at the same time in order to, to cut the allergy because I couldn't handle <laughs> the allergy. It was too strong. So I made two taxing, the, the purple ones, and I drank a predin with a 50 milligram. Those are strong. So I drank all three of them at the same time. In like around in an hour, I didn't have anything. But <laughs> did it really work? Yeah, it did work. <laughs> so what was that again? I'm going to take notes, you know. <laughs> Opinion. Empredin. What was that again? Empredin. Predin. Predin. Yeah. Predin. Is that Predin. for allergy? Yeah, for allergy. Okay, but, I'm gonna try. I, I buy the one that had that's uh, 50 milligrams. Okay. Yeah, because, you know, today in the afternoon, I was feeling all right, you know? I was not feeling like this, but today, like, around 7, I start, like, I don't know, feeling so terrible, you know? And this is my fear, you know, for a teacher. Whenever you need to be in front of the class, two hours class, and, yes, you know, being like this is so horrible, you know? <laughs> I think that you want to be in, in your bed. <laughs> <laughs> I wish not, but you know, uh, apart from that, I'm feeling all right. So let yeah. me garganta que me pica. Well, I don't know what to do. I've been drinking a lot of water, you know, but it's not helping at all. It's the beginning <laughs> of the illness. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so you right now, if the teacher is not here tomorrow, no, no, I'm going to be uh. here. I know I can do it. I know. You're going to be the one who are going to be presenting the class. That's going to uh. be. So, lemon and, and yeah and, right lemon and, and honey uh, okay and honey and chamomile honey. tea yeah 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 but and um that helped a lot I like guess. in my case and uh, when when the allergy uh, attacks me really hard mm -hmm. i always do the vaccine with the predin and helps me a lot okay okay because you know, I, go, I will try to yeah uh, when when I get the allergy, my eyes just start itching. Uh, yeah, like, right, exactly. Then I start sneezing, <laughs> and then my sore start like feeling like it's getting very itchy as well. Itchy and yeah. like it's like it's closing, mm -hmm. and then exactly. it's hard to breathe. So I prepare the medicine and. <laughs> It helps me a lot, but at the same time, yes, I'm feeling like I'm falling asleep. <laughs> <laughs> like, like right now, he said. <laughs> yeah, like right now. now, you know, it's the same what I'm feeling because whenever I'm trying to speak, you know, my throat, it, it is like, uh, it, it's itchy, right? And at the same time, I'm like starting like crying. I don't know why. Yeah, it's terrible. <laughs> yeah, it's terrible, horrible. And then I just want to be like sneezing and I don't know, I feel that it's so cold right now in this moment, right? So probably it's not COVID, no, 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 okay. It's, not. it's so an I, allergy. <laughs> it's an allergy, right? Yes, right, it's very common. So oh. let me think. Uh, did you already finish discussing these two topics? Yes. Because yes. you can easily go ahead, just review the other topics that we have there, the 10 examples that we have. So you can be ready to, probably you have more examples about this topic and your classmates are going to be presenting this information and you can like have this extra example and be ready to help them with this information as well. We still have like 10 minutes, so you can go ahead and review the topics that we have there, the information that we have there, okay? Okay. Okay, go ahead.
and thank you for the recommendations. I'm going to <laughs> go and get the capsin and the other one. <laughs> okay. Okay, hey, thank you guys. Go ahead and keep on working. So <laughs> Bye guys. <laughs> Bye. Think about um yeah? since we we finished the the everything, right? So we had to to get to know each other. Yeah, right now why not? I you know as far as you practice your English, that's okay. And we did. So I was yeah. I'm telling them a story about some of the tenants that we've had. Oh, really? Huh? <laughs> and we had one who's from Iran. His name is Sharok. Uh -huh. He's Sharok Payande. So that Payande has a lot of H in the middle. Yeah. So he has B H A double L H A. What? N D H E Payande. Yeah. He went one day to the gas station <laughs> to get some gas and he needed to have a credit fiscal under his name. Uh -huh. He gave his name, Sharach Payande. The guy at student, he was like, what? Sharach Payande. As if, hey, write, write that down. Right? Yeah. The okay, guys looked at the paper, looked at him like, meh. <laughs> Paper, like and Shara was like, "Oh, he remembered me! Wow!" And when he received the paper, <laughs> he was furious. He put them down as Salvador Paredes. Really? <laughs> he came pissed, like, "Mira, mira, les digo mi nombre. Y se los escribo. Y mira cómo me pusieron." Salvador. <laughs> he was pissed. He was mad. We, and you also learned that, uh, for example, French people are really dirty. They really are. And they smoke a lot. And yeah, right. we, had, we had a girl here for a couple of months. And every time I saw her, she always had a cigarette in her hand. Wow. It was like normal for her. It was normal for her. Uh, so for example, there was this girl that was from Sweden. And yeah. she comes from not the capital she comes from Gothenburg which is at the south uh -huh. coast and the area she lives in it's a town it's kind of small populations are small too but and because of that and their uh driving education which is worlds away from ours uh -huh. they don't have a street lights they don't need them really in years like what are those how, why do you have <laughs> how do you call that like what is that huh? uh, because she had so many there she is like in that block you see like three right in the uh, one intersection and in her town there's none <laughs> because they don't they don't really need them <laughs> yeah they don't need it and there was this british guy that stood with us and they celebrate like christmas differently they yeah. It's something called Boxing Day, which is the day after Christmas, mm -hmm. lunchtime, and you make these paper decorations and you make paper crowns, almost like if you're in in, in school, uh -huh. and you make like little um, little cutouts of different colors to make the jewels out of it. Mm -hmm. So, and um, Shadok, for example, he does he does celebrate Ramadan. Oh, okay, yeah, Ramadan. So they do make a fast from when the sun goes up and when the sun goes down. Yes, for 30 days. For, for 30 days. And um, he will wake up at 4 a.m., stuff himself with water and food, mm -hmm. and start eating again until like 7 p.m. Wow. Because he was following uh, Iran's time. Oh, okay. Yeah. Not El Salvador. No, it's all other time. So he was like that. And uh, also different. We have one, uh, his name is Choice. Choice is from Japan and he's been with us for the last 10 years or so. And he does not like speaking Spanish. Why not? Is that that hard? Why. He doesn't like it though. So oh. it, he will, he knows it. He can understand that and everything. And he will speak Spanish if he must. Mm -hmm. Uh, if he doesn't have to and doesn't feel like it, he won't. 
Wow. So does she speak any other language? Uh, well, she always speaks, uh, oh, well, me? Uh, no, she. Uh, well, Shoyce speaks, I know Shoyce speaks some Mandarin and also speaks a little bit of Korean. Oh, okay, Korean. So, that's, yeah. That's, right. So, that's a speak like, like what's our surrounding Japan. Mm -hmm. And he does speak English. Uh, English as well, right? Yeah. So, probably it's easier, you know, to easier. communicate yes. in, mm -hmm. in different languages, but not Spanish, right? Yes, and having them around, you learn that, for example, Spanish is closer to uh, Arabic, oh. English is closer to German. Oh, to German, really? Yes, but, uh, for example, uh, they may not be written in the same way, but many pronounce the same. Mm -hmm. For example, mother in German is mother, and father, oh, yeah. father, and so on and so forth. And in Arabic, uh, Many words are pronounced the same. Uh, I was giving the example like pantalon oh. with for a B and it's a pantalon. And we say blusa, they say blosa. Blosa. So I guess we have acquired, you know, those words from that language, right? So, yes, yes it's interesting. And then know? and the non Latin American country uh -huh. that of the Spanish <laughs> words is the Philippines. Philippines, right? Exactly. But they just speak English, right? They speak English, but many of like the native words uh -huh. is oh, okay. Okay. Interesting, you know. So many great experiences you have had, you know. Oh yeah, it's very fun when they start showing you their food. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> really, yeah. really. I would oh, yeah. really love to have those experiences as well, you know. Getting well, you can always come over. You're from welcome different to come over yeah. Don't worry. Yeah. yeah, right. Okay, sure. Why not, right? Yeah. And, you know, it's great for you to share this type of, you know, a history to these guys, right? Because in that way, yes. they, they are practicing as well. We're having fun at the same time. Yes, and now you have the experience of Salvador Paredes. Yeah. <laughs> I won't forget about that one. Salvador yes. Paredes, imagine. Yes. So when you start speaking mm -hmm. about cultural diversity, you can share. Exactly. Salvador. You see it. Yeah. Those are great examples about uh, the diversity that we have, right? Uh, really nice examples, you know? And lucky you that you have had those experiences, right? Excellent. So let me see. Did you guys finish? reading this information, I guess, right? Yeah. Yeah, we did. Yeah, right, you did, right? Because mm -hmm. I guess, yeah, what time is it? Yeah, time is over. 9.25, you know, can three minutes, yeah, but okay. if you want, we can come back so we can listen to your classmates. And in the case that you have some other example about the other ones that we have there, because remember that we have 10 examples. So if you want to have these extra examples, you can help in, in your classmates and participate as well, right? So this is it. Let's go back to the main room. Great. Okay, thank you. Okay. Thank you, Jasmine, thank you. for sharing your story. Yeah, thank you. That thank was you really fun. It's for, for, to be willing to listen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it was, it was funny, you know? The first yeah. one, especially. Salvador right? Paredes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh no. Okay, time to come back. <clears throat> Let's see. There we go. So guys, did you have time to discuss, to bring examples to your classmates? Yes. Are you ready to participate? Yes, I, I guess, right? Excellent. So let's wait for your classmates.
Okay. Let's wait for your classmates. So let's see, guys. I guess, yes, we did. Um, I was listening to you guys. We finished with the topics that I was uh, assigning to each group, you know. And I was having fun as well, right? With Salvador. No era just in Salvador Paredes, right? And also I got some recommendations, you know, some advices. What should I get? Because my throat is very itchy in this moment. Ya me dieron unas cuantas recommendations. Thank you so much, guys. So let's see. Well, yeah. Right? <laughs> Vamos a ver. First group, group number one, Genesis. Harvin, Jasmine, and Jessica. What is the information that you're going to present, guys? Remember, you can ask your classmates if they know about similar situations um, in, or with the information that you're going to be presenting. You can ask them to participate as well. Time is yours. Go ahead, please. Uh, should I like share the screen? Sure, go. Okay. Uh... <clears throat> So we had unethical accounting and poor working condition. So for the example that we have of unethical accounting, uh, following the description is, for example, will companies uh, tamper with their accounting books so they can either apply to go public in the sense that they can um, start selling their act their um, their shares in the open market, in, in, in la bolsa, or for example, that they tamp, they're already um, public and they tamper with the numbers so the value of the shares go higher than they really are. Um, also, ethical accounting is when, for example, in the sense of ethical business practices towards employees is that, uh, for example, you do extra time or extra hours and they don't, you don't really get paid for them or the amount of pay that you get doesn't really compensate the amount of work you do throughout the day. Um, or we also, uh, Tennessee was talking about the examples that we've have shared previously when uh, the companies don't pay for social security or medical insurance, it's deducted from your um, from your paycheck. Uh, about regarding ethical accounting, we also had um, an example for when companies are used or the stream for money laundering and trafficking of products within their production, such as uh, drugs or illegal substances. Um, also- uh, Yeah, okay. can I say something? Yeah, um, we were about the money laundering. Um, I was actually <laughs> also watching another video mm -hmm. about there, there is a company that, that is called uh, Theranos, that they actually just made a, a TV series on, well, a series on Netflix okay. about that case that some, some companies sometimes, well, that company specifically, uh, they didn't, they offered a product that, that they said was going to um, change how lab testing for, uh, for blood tests would, uh, it was, they had, they said that they had invented a machine that that uh, made blood tests uh, in within minutes, but it was not true. So they they were um, covering this lie and they were advertising it, and they it became a, a billionaire uh, company. Wow. But uh, but it was all based on a lie, and all, obviously, eventually, uh, they people found out and they got sued and and now she's in jail but the thing is that she she always said that she wanted to be a billionaire so she decided that even if it wasn't working she decided to to commit many unethical uh, accounting um, 
just in order to for the company not to fail and some companies do that that they prefer to to uh you know to make money laundering and all these uh illegal things in order for the company not to fail but yeah so i was i was i like to watch that kind of things and i just it came to my mind that case and there is a series about it it's really well what's the name of it again what's the name Theranos. Theranos. Okay. I think the 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 series is called it's on Netflix if you want to watch it. I think it's called the dropout. Dropout. Okay. Uh-huh, the dropout. I know it's not on Netflix, but it's on Hulu. So, mm. But yeah, but it's it's a super interesting case if you wanna look it up. Yeah, sure. Why not, right? Excellent. Yeah. Any other example? I guess. Freddy's and who was in Madeline. They were discussing about the same topics, right? So I don't know, guys, if you have some extra examples that you want to share with your classmates. <clears throat> yes, teacher, uh, we were ta uh, we're talking about uh, uh, well, uh, Freddy's. It gave an example of Bitcoin and that it can be an example that people can uh, believe on that uh, business. But I think in personal opinion, uh, it don't work very well, I think. The crypto coins, yeah, exactly, muy bien, exactly. Because, you know, I heard about the same one of these cases, right? that it was like a company who was uh, doing a similar app like uh, what is the name of this one uber uber eats right that they get your food you just ask uh, them to get the food you know but you needed to pay with crypto crypto monedas right and you know, there was a lot of people involved in this one. They were uh, asking people to get the app and to invest and to pay with crypto. Monedas, right? And at the end, they they just disappeared. They took their money and they never show up again. You know? So yes, it is another great example about unethical business practices in this case, right? So. Excellent. Any other example that comes to your mind, class? For unethical business practice towards employee. Okay. Example that uh, that we're talking about is that uh, a lot of companies uh, they they exploit the employees that they make you work more than the eight hours, and you won't get paid for it. Exactly. Uh, you, ne you never get to see that money. There we go. Great example. So, any other comments about this one? If not, we can move on and let's listen to Francisco, Lourdes, and Thelma. What is the information that you have, guys? <clears throat> Yes. Uh, well, in in our case, yeah. uh, we are talking about, for example, uh, well, in, in my experience, I what? do not that that this this is not my this is no is our topic. However, I would like to share. Okay, go ahead. Uh, for. <clears throat> The unet, unethical accounting okay. is other thing that when uh, I do not that it, it is not the, the, the topic, but uh, I have some problems when when well I have I have um, a problem with my car, for example, because I need to 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 fix some things because I have problems uh, with my car 
and the mechanic uh, recommended to me that I need to change some part of my car. However, oh. that I, I I am conscious that I do not I don't have enough knowledge about the mech mechanics. Mm -hmm. But it's very very common that some mechanics they they always say, hey hey man, you need to change this part when when it is not necessary to change this part of the car. This is very unethical. I think because I the owner of the car is very affected. Yeah, obviously the the, the mechanic have two more money. <laughs> exactly. So yeah, it is very usual. For example, I hear one of these cases, right? That whenever you go and the same right, you want to get your car fixed. They are asking you, you know what? Eh, you should do this, or they even, como que les cambian la batería del carro, mm -hmm. right? They get the one that you have and they place another one, right? So at the end, eh, yes. Yeah. Most of them or most people, they do not notice, you know, they don't realize what they are doing, right? So, you know, you know what I did last time that I had in the, on repair the car? Yeah. I put, I put my name on the battery and then I put <laughs> no tocar. <laughs> <laughs> no tocar, okay, yeah. So actually the mechanic had to disconnect the battery in order to work on the car. And then he was like, I'm not gonna work on your car. I'm like, why? Because it says right there, <laughs> no tocar. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Interesting. So guys, now you know, you know what to do with your car as well. So yeah, because it happens. Pasa siempre. It does. It does. So it's a very, very common unethical practice. So let's see. What were the topics that you were discussing, Francisco? The unethical accounting. Okay. Three and these two as well. Yeah. Okay, who had this one? Number four. Poor working conditions. Nobody? Uh, we are talking a little about this topic uh, because I say that that my team in, uh, in my workplace, workplace for example, yeah. uh, the uh, it's very usually that you can see that the supervisor have a little meeting with with employees, mm -hmm. but they always they are saying to the employees, you need to improve your your production, for mm -hmm. example. But uh, sometimes the the personal are not have the the good condition the conditions right yeah they are because, not safe conditions right? yeah because in work in, in a factory is very hard for the uh operarios i don't know how do you say mm -hmm. because the is 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 a area very mm, in some case uh dangerous because well, I I see I saw some some case that uh, uh, co-workers uh, lost their fingers. Wow! Mm -hmm. Imagine, yes, they pour they put their life under risk as well, right? So yes, yeah. those are unsafe conditions. Mm -hmm. Because they don't know use the. Mm, the equipment of security. The protective equipment. The protective, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Exactly. There we go. So as the example that you are mentioning in this moment, take a look at these examples that we have here. During the pandemic, the number of employees forced to work in unsafe conditions. Imagine. I guess um, we experienced this, right? Because there were some companies that didn't want to offer in this case, like the protective equipment. Oh, you know? yeah. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
in this case, sure. it, it like alcohol help, you know, and all of that stuff, because they said that this is like an extra expense for them, right? And they didn't want to offer this one. And this is so real. Take a look at this one. The situation is even worse for undocumented <clears throat> workers, in this case, immigrants. Because look, they who, who are worried, they will lose oh. their permit if they complain. So wow, imagine. In this case, it's, it's a very uh, hard and very sad situation, right? So yeah. they take advantage of it, that they are uh, working in this way without uh, the paperwork or the uh, what they are being requested. So they are in this case um, telling them that they do not really need to complain. That they, if they want to keep the job, they just need to uh, go ahead and keep on working in that way. So yes, interesting. Let me ask you who had this one, number five and number six. <clears throat> who was discussing about this one? Nobody? Okay, let me ask you. ¿Qué les tocó entonces, chicos? Let me say. ¿Qué tema tenía David, William, and Jocelyn? And Doris, Erwin, and Fernando. The okay. ten you, you assigned mass was the, the number eight. Okay, so let's go ahead and have this one. And Bribery. then we can come back and read this information. Bribery Bri and legal. Legal, baronetical business practice. Okay, so go ahead, please. Tell us about this information so you can so your classmates can listen about it. Okay. Uh, you let me share my screen. Sure. Go ahead. Okay. In bribery. That the definition is business might bribe government officials or industry leaders to secure better deals or gain a foothold in the market. And all of them. Uh, well, the, the first is uh, the most common that uh, maybe all of the people do it. Not only because you want to do, but uh, sometimes because the same Police officer says you says says you that uh, they can forget the situation if you give them something, and uh, in that case is a is a common practice and and is a, a, a something a, I don't know how to say that expression, but there are some guys that are uh, uh, bus drivers that have thousand and thousand and dollars in tips in 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 uh, but they are driving yeah, <laughs> they okay. don't they don't have problems uh, how happened that since yeah uh, maybe they their their permission the, or the driver permission must be cancelled but they still driving because of what? Uh, because they bribe the officer and uh, I don't know how is the chain that uh, nobody, nobody take action about that. And uh, it is a, a, a important problem because of the, there are uh, many bus driver or little buses, I don't know, micro buses, there are some drivers of uh, these micro, these micro buses that uh, uh, they are, uh, uh, they drive uh, uh, not only drugs, not only but high alcohol, but drugs. Uh, so, and uh, it's a, a, <laughs> a very difficult situation for the people that are using the 
this transportation. Yeah. There is a big problem. The public transportation, yes, right. Yes. <clears throat> and uh, uh, the second thing is that uh, people that are bribing a hospital or, or doctors or another kind of uh, medical attention to to get an abortion that uh, is not is, is prohibited at, at this time in El Salvador but uh, many people do many people do in our country in, in other countries too many people do that situation how can be possible that and uh, there are uh, situations in 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 uh, national hospitals that uh, there are some well known cases that mm -hmm. people in in national hospital that get an abortion and they give some bribes to the personal and nobody knows <laughs> yeah uh, right. i have heard <laughs> about these type of cases you know maybe they don't they don't get the abortion in that place but they help these people get the pills you know they ask mm. for money so they can sell these pills the yes. ones that are going to help with that process yes so yeah okay and and in in many cases are teenagers are, are uh, girls are this is uh, something difficult and the number three is uh, lawyers mm -hmm. lawyers right, if you. if you see in our country the the worst the worst criminal have the best lawyers <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I, I don't know if in, in other countries are the same, but there is a, a very difficult situation in, in our country. There are a well-known criminal, and there are four or five lawyers that are uh, working with, with him or, or with her. And uh, it's a, a difficult situation because these people uh, get in jail two, three days, and then they go out. It's a, a difficult situation. And uh, this one is another uh, situation, complicated situation, that uh, there are schools. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Names, <laughs> I can't say names. I can't say names, right? <laughs> yeah, but, uh, 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 <laughs> okay, there are, uh, sometimes it's not, it's not money, sometimes it's another kind of things mm -hmm. that uh, to, to get a, a better grade mm -hmm. or, and to go, Add to the next uh, uh, cycle of uh, grade or uh, yeah, many... exactly, exactly. Yes. So they are and bribing it... teachers, and you know, to ask for yes, the I... type of papers. Yes. <laughs> I was teaching in a school, uh, yes. the past school. I was teach, mm -hmm. and some some kids, some guy, uh, said me that. He can give me a, 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 I don't know, palco, balcony. I don't know how to say palco. Yes. Uh, uh, yeah, I don't know, but to the one year uh, of this, this special ticket for one year in the best place in the Estadio Cuscatlán. Okay. I give you for one year only Face me, give me the grade, I need it. Oh. One year. <laughs> and I, I, I said the guy, uh, I'm sorry for you because uh, I don't I don't like football. I don't go to see you <laughs> talk. You, you lost with me and uh, I, I can do it. 
<laughs> but it's true. I, I don't go to the stadium. I, I rarely see a game in the, the mm -hmm. TV. Mm -hmm. And uh, but uh, it it uh, that is true in our in our country. I think in many other countries. Beauty. I don't know if if William or 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 uh, want to talk about the second one. William and Jocelyn. Jocelyn. Mm -hmm. Yes. Go please. If well, you want. We were talking with, okay, sure. Okay, we were talking with Davy and William. And Davy, could you help me with the title? I cannot see. Okay, legal but unethical business practices. And we conclude that there are some unethical business practice, practices that are legal but morally questionable. There is nothing to stop business by partaking in these uh, activities. Uh, we got some examples that the first one is some medication that are selling in the Latin America market, but not in the Europe, in the Europe or the United States. Also, we mentioned about selling liquor or cigarettes, especially for teenagers. This is something that actually in our country is legal, but it is not uh, correct to sell to teenagers. Uh, remember that the Advertising mentioned that this is something that can cause many illness to our health. Uh, also, we mentioned about drugstores sell expensive medicine instead of the cheaper one because of the distributor and give them extra money. Exactly. Okay, well, uh, William, do you want to continue with the other ones? Another example uh, we were talking about was environmental concerns. For example, lack of regulation about companies that cause negative environmental impact. And uh, another was fast food is causing an obesity problem to people, especially kids. That's it, teacher. Yeah, I know this is legal, right? But at the same time, it is affecting people. There we go. Fast, Great example. Yes. Tell me about fast, fast food. Fast food. Fast food. Even is is causing a problem in the brain. The brain. The 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 kids' brain. Really. The 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 brain needs needs a special food to think better. When they, they are this, uh, uh, I don't know how to say grasas saturadas. They cause that uh, lack of uh, oxygen, and uh, the kids don't think well. The, the kid don't, uh, uh, the the brain don't work properly, and they have problems in school. They have problems in uh, for that reason, and there are uh, some information that are talking about that uh, that. We we are what we eat. Okay. <laughs> okay. So fast food. Are pupusas in that list? No? <laughs> Say no, please. <laughs> pupusas is out of, of that. Of that, of that. No, it's, it's, it's not fast food. Right? It is an exception. <laughs> si no estamos en problemas, you know. <laughs> so yes, there we go. Excellent examples, you know. Vamos a ver. Who is still missing? Está viendo la hora. Wow. Class is almost over. I it's, guess it's time it's, for pupusas, teacher. Pupusas time. Very good. <laughs> so I guess, yeah, you guys, group number five, Doris, Erwin, and Fernando. Yeah, we still have like five minutes. So you can go ahead and present the information that you have. Okay. We will we'll be quick, quick. <laughs> no, don't worry, take your time. Uh, number nine, setting customer data. So uh, it's very common, like we said uh, previously in the class, uh, always when we have to purchase or click a song, song Maybe when you are installing a software or you are creating an account in a website, you have to to click on uh, I agree terms and conditions. So you 
you don't read that information. Sometimes uh, in, in our country, it's very common, for example, uh, in my experience, when you get a credit loan, you get a credit card, uh, you, you sign a lot of paper and you have to be careful reading that paper because you don't, you don't, sometimes you don't read the, in that paper, for example, you are giving your, the, the, your information yes. uh, to sharing, to share, mm -hmm. to share to another company. And I, it's happened to me in, in some things. <laughs> for example, when mm -hmm. I, I got, I, I got a, a, a credit card once and- Oh no. Uh, and maybe a, a week ago, a week later, uh, I received a message from another financial uh, uh, company mm -hmm. uh, offering offering a, a loan or a credit for me. So I I don't know what how, where, where how my they, information. Where did I get uh, that information? Yes, like... and I I remember where maybe in the paper that I signed in. <laughs> For the credit card, uh -huh. or I don't know, they I, I signed that uh, uh, I am you giving. You were allowing them. Yes, allowing I, them. I I I didn't remember, but uh, uh, that that happened. That happened. So we have to be careful. It's not a big deal, but it's annoying because uh, you receive call from maybe three or four uh, companies, different companies, and they are calling and calling you or saying, no, no, this mm -hmm. is an eye, but that, that is a, a, a good <laughs> example. Uh, number 10, complex securities. Uh, that is uh, maybe difficult to understand some, some, something, but uh, I, I would try to, to give you a, a clear example of that. For example, uh, the there are many companies that offer you the, an opportunity to invest your your money. Mm -hmm. So uh, they they give uh, they give you all the details and they say you told you uh, well you will you will invest uh, maybe one thousand and in a three or four months you you will get a. Uh, $200 profit. So you, oh, that is, that is nice, but you don't know how or what are the methods that I, they use to try to grow your money. You don't know what is the company that are, that they are investing your money. Maybe that companies, those companies uh, are illegal, or maybe you are involved in a laundry money. <laughs> Exactly. You don't know. You don't, you know. don't you know. You only you 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 don't know. You only sign the, the papers and well, take my money and use <laughs> as well. You you want exactly. That is a nice example. I don't know if it, if Erwin and Doris, if they uh, want teacher, to have like yeah. yeah I, will say, I will say something about in El Salvador. Yeah. There are many customer, no many employees work at the financial ministry, Ministerio de Hacienda, mm -hmm. yeah? And then that employees uh, sell the customer data to, like, for the company. Oh, okay. Yes, it's, it's incredible that you can find many employees work it in the Ministerio de Hacienda and they sell the customer data. It's incredible. It is. It's incredible. For example, <clears throat> if you want to know what happened with that company, uh, you can find a one uh, employee in the Ministerio de Hacienda and he will tell you how the company. Okay. Yeah, this is a, a legal in Salvador, but uh, it is the truth. So is it legal or not? It is, no. It's illegal. Illegal. Oh, illegal. Okay. Illegal, yes. Okay, imagine. So, what is the name of this place? The Com, creo que es. The Com, you know? The I com, heard yes, the it's com, something similar. Yeah. yeah. The Com had information about because all the bank, all the bank uh, cooperativas, 
Uh -huh. they, uh, full, they made the become, mm -hmm. but this is, this is because they give information about the Banco America Central, Cucatlan, and they send the information about the customer, the bad customer. But uh -huh. this is the association, yeah? Uh -huh. So different. But when you want to know, for example, if I want to know how you win in the year, uh -huh. I speak with one employee with the oh, from Ministerio de Hacienda, and he would tell me all about you. Uh -huh, exactly. Yeah. So even if you don't know, you know, uh, who is getting your information, right? You can easily get that information from people, you know? Yes. So interesting. Doris, let me listen to you. Okay, teacher. What is your opinion about this one? Um, in, for the, in the number nine, it's a, okay. in selling customer data. And when I, for example, in the Salvador, when you use a credit or banks or, or other financial, mm -hmm. the, you can size a, a, a document. In the documents is this a uh, use a, uh, Agree for uh, sharing the the history the credit history credit history exactly for for uh, if you want to give a a a, a, a money or I don't know press them yes. to get a loan yes a loan. okay mm -hmm. so yeah. Um, it happens, there we go. So, excellent participation, guys. I know, you know, we can easily have the same topic tomorrow and, you know, and have some other examples about this one, you know. This is a topic that is very interesting, you know, because this is reality. This is what we face in these companies, right? And unfortunately, um uh, yeah we still have those companies that they really like to go and do this try uh, this type of practices right unethical practices because it's easy very easy whenever you don't want to follow the rules or uh no we just want to uh, do this type of action because they are easier they just do it because and probably because in el salvador we don't have those regulations as well so this is going to be happening you know and yes this is for us to think about this type of examples and try to be different i know that uh, this type of topics of course they help us a lot so guys it is time to check the attendance list so we can stop the class here because time is over it was an excellent class let me say, Andres Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Present. Okay. David Samuel Galdames Monterrosa. Present teacher. Diego Alejandro Caballero Lopez. Present teacher. Dora Elizabeth Flores Mendez. Present. Good night. Good night to you, Erwin Lagos Andrade. Present teacher. Fernando Ernesto Cosmo Morales. Present. Francisco Amadeo Villacorta Chávez. Present. Freddy Vladimir Cortez López. I'm here, teacher. Enes y Carmen Hernández Grisuela. Present. Harvin Isaac Guevara Miranda. Present. Jasmine Marisol Escobar Flores. Present. Jasmine, can you please stay today? Just for five or ten minutes. Okay. Kenia Esmeralda Galvez Ruiz. No. Lourdes Montserrat Hernández Velázquez. Present. Madeline Jamilet Molina González. Present. Telma Cleotilde Peña Martínez. Present. Excellent. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. 
Present. Jessica Yanari Cortés Díaz. I'm here. And Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present. There Good we night. go. So, see you next class, guys. Thank you so much for joining and participating today. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night to you. Good night. Okay, hi, Jasmine. Hi, teacher. ¿Cómo estamos, Jasmine? Okay. Bien, bien. I think we're good. Todo bien? Good, right? So, you good. know, I just asked my classmates, my class, my students, you know, ya me siento mareada, <laughs> to stay just for a moment, you know, mm -hmm. to ask them, to ask, you know, I know we are in advance too. I don't know if this is the first time that you're taking this type of courses or not English for the trial. Sorry, I had a little difference. So this is the the first time. The first time. Lo siento que sí me cuesta hablar un poquito. El primera vez. This, you're, you're taking. Yeah, this is the first time I've ever had any course of this. The first kind. experience with English for the trabajo, right? Uh, yeah, like like for a formal course. Oh, for, really? For a formal one. Yeah. Um, I've had like I've on my own time like watch uh -huh. like. YouTube videos or um, documentaries and things like that. Okay, okay. Oh, mm -hmm. Yeah, because you know, uh, Inglés Corporativo, well, this is not the only academy that offers this type of programs, right? Inglés para el trabajo mm -hmm. and Inglés para todos. So, Inglés para todos is a little way different, right? Because you, you just get to have like one hour class to discuss grammar topics, you know, to have these exercises in the platform and that's it. Uh, but as you may see, English for the Trabajo, yeah, we try to uh, take this type of topics, como ética and all of those topics, right? And at the same time, mm -hmm. we're mixing these topics with grammar. So just let me ask you, is there a, like a comment that you may have or algo que necesite Jasmine, que podamos reforzar during the class? Because as you may see, we have different type of students and classmates, right? Yeah. Some of them, they really like to participate. They are actively participating. And some of them, they do not really like because they are afraid because this is what they have expressed, you know? That, you know, my English is not good. It's not that good. And there are some classmates that they speak or they really have this good pronunciation and I'm afraid. But I don't know. Algún comentario, Jasmine, que podamos hacer uh, in order I to think... help you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Well, I, I so far I, I like the classes. I like that they're not boring. That I can have communication with my classmates. Yes, right. Play games like that, uh, like <laughs> something like that. It's actually really fun and very entertaining too. Mm -hmm. And um, it helps me understand that I'm very competitive, competitive person because I like want to do this fast. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Like, for example, the, the game that we were having, I don't know if it was on Monday, uh, Word Maker. Uh -huh. No? Uh, yeah, me escribió, me escribió WhatsApp. Teacher, come on. I didn't like that game. Oh. Yo, ¿por qué? Le dije. No, porque nos hizo perder. Yo, no, no fui yo. Le dije. Yo, like, imagine. <laughs> so, yes, I, I won't say. I'm very, very competitive there. Exactly, and, exactly. So yeah. this is the purpose of this type of, type of games, you know? But I don't know. As I mentioned before, we have different type of students here. Yeah, okay. I mean, all of us learn in a different way. <laughs> yeah. Right. Every now and then. Uh -huh. But personally, I don't, I don't think there's anything to change. Um, um, for other classmates, like um, maybe having like confidence in how what they say, and some maybe sometimes um, uh, having to remind them like the because I'm gonna be honest. Sometimes they speak and I don't really understand what they're saying because yeah. of the of how they say it. Yeah, but and I get the gist of it. Um, so maybe just. The structure of sentences sometimes, depending on um, it, one it at what tense they're just beginning. If it's the present, past, or future. Mm -hmm. But other than that, I don't I don't see any anything wrong with it. 
and, and it takes time and it takes okay. effort to manage any any uh, any any language i mean when you're even speaking in spanish we still have spanish <laughs> classes and language classes well right. for teenage years and then you learn more words and learn the meaning of those words as you grow up so with english is pretty much the same i in, know because it's a new language pretty much the no, same. Exactly. i know so yeah, you know, this is what I like to do or I try to do to mm -hmm. get people express themselves, you know? So this type of activities, this is like a, a what we really need to do in each class, you know, to have like a, at the beginning, like a introduction so you can have some vocabulary and then mm -hmm. to get your working group. So you can have those small discussions and then bring bring the topic to the class, right? Mm -hmm. So this is what we are going to be doing. And also with the platform, as you may see in the platform, yes, we can find um, some mistakes, right? Yeah. So please just let me know uh, whenever mm -hmm. you go to the platform and you find this type of mistake punctuation or probably, I don't know, you, you can find something else, right? Just let mm -hmm. me know about it, you know? So in this case, yes, if you have comments about the platform or the topics that we are discussing, of course, you can let me know so we can improve about this as well. Oh, well, uh, about the platform, not not really. I haven't encountered anything odd. So okay. Just for the first unit that we had, like the little. That's right. Uh, and I wasn't even aware about the issue with the point number four. <laughs> In, in the term exam okay. because quite honestly this week I haven't been able to really get it just with the textbook mm -hmm. and, uh, but I do need to work on it this this week will be uh, but other than that I, I haven't had any issues mm -hmm. so um, I mean if I do find one I'll, I'll say like hey what's that <laughs> but, but until I do I, I, I don't have anything wrong with it yeah right no but you know yeah, I have been listening to you. No, your English is good. The level of your English is great as well. You can express your ideas in an easy, in an easy way. So, yes, um, I really like you to. For example, today that we were working in those groups, mm -hmm. I know you had already done the activity, right? But you mm -hmm. were still practicing. You were helping your classmates as well. So. It is really nice from you, you know, to have this type of examples and interacting yeah. with your classmates so you can well, let is, them express their ideas as well. <laughs> it just started mostly because it was kind of awkward just being the four of us hanging out doing nothing. So <laughs> it, it came from there. Um, but yeah, and yeah, it's it's kind of fun because it, it helps you learn about other people's exactly, lives. exactly, so, and this is works. the idea, right? Mm -hmm. So, uh, no, algo más de por eso no, not really, Jasmine. Estamos muy bien, estamos haciéndolo okay. muy bien. We are doing a great job, y mm -hmm. de igual manera, sigámoslo haciendo así, Jasmine. Eh, okay. Felicito a Jasmine por ser siempre bien puntual y okay. por la participación también. Estamos haciéndolo bien, pero yes, cualquier cosa que podamos mejorar o que podamos ayudar a los classmates también, hagámoslo, okay. hagámoslo. ¿no? Eso okay. era todo. Con Jasmine nos tomó cinco minutitos. Con otras sí nos toca reforzar tal vez temas okay. de gramática, pronunciation, because mí, they are having those type of issues. Yeah. yeah, the first English teacher that I had said yeah. that for pronunciation I should listen to Frank Sinatra because he's famous, mm -hmm. because pronunciation was perfect. Wow, fancy. Because his, all his lyrics were uh, pronounced right, mm -hmm. so you know how to say the words. Okay. His lyrics are kind of easy to learn. So once you have the lyrics, you just find it the Spanish version and you will compare like all in this part saying this. Mm -hmm. so yeah, it's a way to um, learn things. To learn and practice. Same time. Okay, so I'm gonna take that recommendation so I can do it as well and to let your classmates do it. You know, also, uh, my first teacher told me 
to find little funny clips of TV series. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. That, for example, if you've seen Friends in Spanish, yes, have a context of what they they're saying, so it's easier to understand it in English. So rather than worrying about figuring out what they're saying, mm -hmm. pay attention to how they say it. Exactly, exactly. Mm -hmm. So friends, yes, friends, and also the Big Man Theory. I got that recommendation from another teacher as well. And also yeah. to watch Peppa Pig, you know, it's a photo <laughs> recommendation, you know. Yeah, you can also yeah. um, you can watch um, game shows. Talking, man. That's your worry, you know, my dad. Um, right. um, you can watch like uh, TV game shows. Mm -hmm. but, uh, Jeopardy and all the kind of stuff mm -hmm. because you learn more things because it's trivia so you learn more vocabulary that way okay and that that's where the trivia like game thingy came like where did the hula hoop make its debut or like uh -huh. who kept the the heavyweight championship <laughs> okay. versus, who knows what uh -huh. versus Max Schmeling. Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> so it's, great yeah. so it's, it's the kind of like the, I think Korea's details work mm -hmm. because they're curious. It's easier to stick in here. Exactly, yeah. Uh -huh. Because it's, it's a curiosity. Así es como que, eh, cuando uno ve algo curioso en alguna cosa se le queda más que el resto. So, the teacher told me, like, find curious things in English and it will stick with you. Exactly. But for example, whenever we get those definitions, ethics, uh, mm -hmm. wrong decision or something like that, we don't tend to remember, you know, those definitions, right? Because yeah. we don't really need them. But as you may see, it's just to have these like definitions. So in the case that somebody asks you about this definition, you can have like the idea. So it's not necessary to keep that information. Yeah, right? So mm -hmm. yes, that's it. So Jasmine, muchas gracias por quedarnos un ratitito y sigamos lo haciendo bien, you know? You're doing a great job. Sure. So, that, that was good night. So good night to you. See you next class, Jasmine. See you tomorrow. Good night.